PNC Sports was brought to you by Subway. Eat fresh. Hoppa day and good evening. I'm Nurse Jen. Welcome to Go Healthy. This week the topic is depression. Are you going through a state of clinical depression or are you depressed? According to a widely noted research study conducted in 2009, between 1996 and 2005, a whopping number of Americans receiving antidepressant medications on a daily basis rose from 13 million to 27 million. According to the study, after extensive interviews with insurance companies, only half of the people taking antidepressant medications have have actually been diagnosed with depression. Dr. Mark Olfskin, co-author of the study, says being diagnosed with a clinical psychiatric depression diagnosis versus being depressed should be treated differently. According to Dr. Luchner, psychiatrist from UCLA, a diagnosis requires at least five symptoms. The five symptoms are loss of interest or pleasure in usual everyday activities with moods like feeling hopeless or unworthy, difficulty concentrating, memory problems, changes in sleep patterns, and changes in weight. These symptoms should last at least two continuous weeks. Now let's head into this week's trivia question. Which diagnostic test is used to confirm a clinical psychiatric depression diagnosis? A. Blood sugar levels, B. Blood pressure readings, or C. None of the above? The answer is, interestingly, C. None of the above. The brain is the most complex organ in the human body and identifying its dysfunctions can be highly subjective. A panel of blood tests can help guide a doctor to make a diagnosis, but depression is altogether a difficult diagnosis and mostly based on your truthful communication with your physician. I'm Nurse Jen, registered nurse, reminding you to be healthy is to go healthy.